Hello, my beautiful students. Hello, my lovely students. How are you? I hope you're all keeping well. Very good. Now we have science. Okay, just listen to me and follow me. Let us start it. We want to start unit 9, lesson 1. Okay, the name of this lesson is What can we observe about objects? What? Do you know? Let me explain more for you. Okay? Look around yourself. What do you see? Uh, I can see table. I can see sofa. I can see TV. I can see chair. Very good. These things are around you are matter. Matter. Okay? This object around you called matter you know matter has many meanings sometimes it means mm, important sometimes trouble uh, sometimes situation but in science it refers to anything that takes up space matter in science is anything that takes up space even the air you breathe is matter so look at this boy very good look at the clock ball bed these are matter these are matter very good what is the what is the fish boy? Is it matter too? Yes, very good. Why? Because it take up space. Very good. So, what do you know is true about the ball, the clock, and the boy? Very good. They are all matter. And what? Other things do you see in the boys' room that are matter? What? Yes, very good. As I told you, fish boy, very good. Bed? Yes. Track? Very good. Who said blocks? Exactly. Very good. Very good. So, look at the ball, the clock, and the boy. I draw X on each things that is matter so boy ball and clock three of them are matter very good now we know that what the meaning of matter matter is anything that takes up space yes very good okay now let's go to the next page what do we have here? Look at the two highlighted words. Can you read it for me? Very good. The first one is property. The second one is texture. Do you remember we talk about the properties when in um, natural resources lesson? Very good. We talk about the rocks properties we talk about the soil properties very good very good now what the meaning of property a property of matter is one part of what something is like very good for example properties of matters are size shape color and texture texture so properties of matters are can you answer size very good another one shape very good and color very good what a meaning of texture who oh, no. knows what does that mean uh, can you name some objects that are soft very good for example pillow 
Yes, or puppy's fur, huh? You know, these are so soft. Yes, when you touch it, you can feel it. Yes, so texture is what an object feels like. Very good, very good. Now we know that what the meaning of properties and what the meaning of texture. Now look at these four pictures. We have four groups here size, shape, color, and texture. So in size part, big and small are words that tell about size. So when we want to talk about the size, we should use these two words big and small. Very good. And shape, star and heart are words that tell about shapes yes and uh, you can use round you can use square yes very good and color in this part red and blue are words that tell about color or maybe other colors they can help us to talk about colors very good and texture part soft and hard are words that tell about texture do you remember i said uh, touch pillow and when you touch pillow you understand that it is soft it isn't hard yes very good so in each box draw an x on the object that doesn't belong in size box I draw X on the big one. Yes, very good because we have two small cars and one big car. Very good. And in shape box, I draw X on heart. Why? Very good because we have two stars just one heart yes so i draw x on the object that doesn't belong yes very good and what about in color box very good we have two red color but one blue color so i choose an object that doesn't belong very good and what about texture box which one very good ladybird i draw a x on ladybird why because we have two beer here two dolls here that they are so soft but ladybird is hard and this object does not belong to this group do you understand it very good and can you answer this question what are some ways to describe an object's shape when you want to describe an uh, object's shape you can use some ways do you do you know which ways or can you name for me for me that name yes very good when we want to describe an object's shape we can use round square or for example a star shape heart shape very good and what are some other objects that are red do you know very good for example an apple an apple is red or uh, i think a stop sign yes very good and the cars should stop when they see this sign yes very good so in this video we learned that what is the matter and what the meaning of property and we can name the properties of matters and what is the texture very good thank you for watching this video and take care of yourself bye bye